Top Spin 2K25 is a simulation tennis game that is a huge step into the right direction. The last Top Spin game was released in 2011, and let's just say a lot has changed in the gaming industry since then. This game was developed by Hangar 13, who most notably worked on the Mafia series, and it was also published by 2K Sports. So Hangar 13 had a hefty task to revitalize an all but dead franchise, but they managed to do so almost flawlessly. While I applaud the team at Hangar 13, this game definitely has the 2K Sports feel, and if you know anything about 2K, you know what I mean. Microtransactions, having to be online, that type of things that we'll touch on later in the review. But first things first, I want to touch on the good. Top Spin 2K25 is absolutely beautiful both audio and visual wise. The courts feel unique from the sun to the shadows to the lights, everything is stunning to look at and that's what first caught my attention. Audio wise, Top Spin is equally as impressive. The sound of the rackets occasionally hitting the court or your shoes dragging across the dirt are great touches. I can tell a lot of care and attention and detail went into this game making us feel immersed in the world of tennis all the way down to the tiny things like the PA system in other countries speaking different languages. While the details are nice, the best thing about this game by far is the gameplay. It's just flat out fun. This is coming from a casual fan who only ever enjoyed Mario Tennis or Wii Sports Tennis growing up. I'm the furthest thing from an expert on tennis, but I can't seem to put this game down. For starters, there's an in-depth tutorial that helps you understand the basics and the mechanics and the general tennis movement, and the controls are simple and easy to learn. Anyone can pick this game up and play. This is truly where this game shines. Honestly speaking, I'm sure a lot of you guys' time will be spent in the my career mode where you create your own my player and go on a journey to become a tennis champion. Character customization here is pretty good and there's a lot of options and the one that really stood out to me was the option to give your character prosthetics. Now career mode here is simple and to the point, each month you get to complete one training, one special event in a tournament but there's a large emphasis on energy with each event that you do and how you travel takes up more energy depending on how far it is. Example, if you're going from Europe to the United States, it may take 20% of your energy for the season. And as you progress through the story, you can help offset this by unlocking more homes to purchase in different countries to regain stamina and also sign different people to like your health team, things like that. And when I say there's a large emphasis on energy, I do mean a large emphasis. If your energy gets too low and you decide to compete in an event anyways, you will get hurt. I think my energy was like at 20% one time and I still competed because I really wanted to try to win this tournament and I end up getting hurt and having to miss multiple months. So at least when you're first starting off, when your energy gets to about 40%, it's just best to go ahead and rest and miss a month. The My Career Mode does extend to online play as well. For better or for worse, there is a World Tour Mode which allows you to play in online tournaments with your My Player against other opponents. From what I've seen so far, this mode got pretty sweaty pretty fast as a lot of people had really good characters, so I only played a little bit because I was getting destroyed online. Now, Top Spin 2K25 does have some flaws. First and foremost, currently there is no ability to play against friends online. It's so disappointing. That, that kind of killed a lot of the game for me because I felt like this is something that in a sports game, especially in 2024, you kind of expect to be standard. However, I did read that there's supposed to be an update that adds this as a feature down the line, but there's a really missed opportunity here. My second flaw was that I wanted more excitement in life and storylines to follow the career mode. In my opinion, 2K should have taken a page out of NBA 2K's book, with a narrative driven story. Tennis is perfect for that type of cinematic story as it is primarily a solo sport. So I would love to have seen rivalries, different storylines, just more voice acting. It just felt like it wasn't always life in the career. Although it is fun gameplay wise, outside of that, it's kind of stale. I understand that this is the first top spin game in a long time. So hopefully as we get more editions of this game, we'll see more added to the career. Speaking of career, you cannot play any my career offline at all, which is a complete bummer. And matter of fact, little to no modes work without internet in typical 2K fashion. This is what I was speaking on earlier. And I figured this out quickly because the 2K service did go down several times, which 2K gave us some locker codes to redeem for But I thought it was kind of crazy that without internet, I could only do the tutorial or a simple exhibition. Now, a big complaint that I've been seeing from tennis fans is that the roster in this game feels a little light. Currently, there are only 25 playable characters with notable names such as Rafael Nadal and Novak Djokovic missing. Hopefully, maybe these can be added with like a future update or some DLCs. And lastly, for those wondering, there are microtransactions in this game. 2K has become known for these over the last few years. However, I'm happy to report that they are not nearly as bad as they are in NBA 2K and aren't forced on us whatsoever as simply playing the game gives us BC. 
and another bonus point is that the my player characters cannot be upgraded with vc so no quote unquote pay to win here only way to update your character is to actually play the game you cannot cheat your way or buy your way to the top so what is the verdict all in all top spin 2k25 is a huge step into the right direction despite a few flaws the gameplay is extremely fun i encourage anyone to try this game yes even if you are not a tennis fan and who knows you may become addicted like me last but not least shout out to 2k and hangar 13 for doing a phenomenal job with this game and bringing back the tennis franchise here at level one gaming we had a great time with this title and look forward to playing more in the future